Hello to the nation, Dr. PlayStation is here to talk to you guys over a drop zone on Arcaden. Recently I was informed that it's Arcaden, not Arcaden like I had been saying. So, hopefully, uh, Ian does not burst a blood vessel when I say Arcaden. <laughs> but, uh, anyway, so it's Arcaden. Uh, I'm using the P90 Extended Mags here, even though it may not look like it. Well, now I'm changing. P90 Extended Mags with Silencer, I believe, or Rapid Fire, one of the two. And I got an EMP grenade on here, so if I'm going to give you guys any tip at the beginning of this commentary before I start talking about what I actually want to talk about, it's that in Drop Zone, you either want to be running a trophy system or an EMP. That's one of the two things you want to be running. Uh, basically, because EMP grenade will help take an objective, and trophy system will help hold the objective. Um, so if they have like a sentry gun on it or uh, an IMS or something, throw that EMP grenade on there, it's taken out. Uh, so that, that's a big tip for you guys. I don't see a lot of people using the EMP grenades, but in this game mode, they really help. Uh, as for the trophy system, just drop it down and that'll save you from a couple of nades so you can get a few more points for your team when you're trying to clutch it at the last minute. But uh, anyway, this is a 33 and 8, not the best KD, but you can't really complain because I do go for the objective a lot. Actually, so much to the point where my team was telling me, hey, Nick, get off the objective because we want this game to last longer. We want to get more kills. Uh, and then I was like, no, if you guys want to do that, go play Domination. This is this. Like, Domination, you actually have a tactical advantage if you let them get one point and you get two. Uh, in this game, there's no tactical advantage letting them get the drop zone opposed to them being on the drop zone. Uh, so, anyway, that's just my view on it. But uh, I did go for the objective pretty hard. I probably could have gotten, like, an 8KD game if I didn't, but decided to go for it and I end up getting a 4KD or just over a 4KD. So hopefully you guys enjoy this gameplay, but that's not what I'm going to be talking about here. Instead, what I'm going to be talking about is something more, more in-depth. Something more uh, away from the whole gaming scene. And it was something I was thinking about today, so hopefully you guys kind of feel the same way about what I'm about to talk about. Uh, and anyway, let's get started. So, today I can't really complain. That I had a really good day, and for no particular reason. I just, I just, overall, I just felt, you know, like nothing bad happened. Like, I'm not gonna say anything amazing happened. There's no real reason why today was a good day, but today when I was going, coming home, I had to stay after school for yearbook, and uh, I was coming home, and I was like, you know what? Today was a good day, and I was reflecting over it, and about conversations I had and stuff like that, and I was reflecting and thinking about uh, uh, why. Why did I feel that this day was a good day? And there was no reason. There was, there was no reason other than the fact that people, like, by the end of the day, like, we were all just being nice, nothing bad happened. It was a good day. And I realized how much people, like, every day I come home and it's like, I don't feel great. I don't feel like it was a good day. I don't feel like I feel right now. And I was like, why don't I feel like this more often? Because there's no difference between today and any other day. But it made me realize that I really take my the life that I have, which is good, uh, or at least standard. It's like most of your lives. Like I, I'm not special in any way. But I'm lucky, like most of you, to live in the economy that I do, to live in the country that I do, to have the opportunities that I do. And I, I finally just realized that. I took it to heart and I just realized how much I have that I take for granted each and every day. Uh, and I kind of came to this whole revelation uh, when uh, a person who went on a Dominican Republic trip at, a, at my school, uh, I heard them talking about it. And then another student that was on that same trip uh, was complaining. They said they said that there was one thing that they were mad on. If there was one thing that angered them on the trip, it was that uh, the the plane going there was an hour and a half delayed. Uh, and I was thinking to myself, really, really, you're going to you went to the Dominican Republic for a week, and you're complaining that it took an hour and a half longer. And I, so forgive me if I'm ripping off Louis C.K. here, but I'm sorry if the 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 hundred ton plane the hundred ton chunk of metal that should never leave the ground took an extra hour and a half to cross a motherfucking ocean okay i am sorry like really that's what you're complaining about you can't you can't just just focus on the positive things like uh, I'm, I'm kind of being hypocritical here because I complain about a lot of things. Like, hell, I'm, I complained about lag at least ten times today when I was playing my, when I was playing Modern Warfare 3. And 
really really that's what i'm complaining about i'm complaining that it takes an extra few milliseconds for uh light to travel at the speeds that exceed anything that we will ever see and and transfer to somebody else's console that somebody else's hunk of metal and plastic and i'm complaining that it took an extra few milliseconds like and I'm real. I realize how much stuff we take for granted. Like when you compare to places in, that are third world countries, like uh, the Dominican. When you compare to places like just third world countries in general, and think about it. Like we're complaining about uh, having the newest cell phone, about about uh, taking an extra ten minutes in traffic. If you heard, if you heard the complaints from people in like the Dominican, and people like that went on this trip were telling me like it's difficult for them to get the clean water a lot of the time it's difficult like we gave them like they brought water bottles they they purchased water bottles before they left put them in their bags and they each brought one for one of the children that uh we were going to or that our school was going to visit another school in the dominican and each of the students that went on this trip bought a, brought a water bottle they bought it themselves and brought it over there and gave them this water bottle and they were ecstatic and a friend of mine told me, like, it was like you gave them, like, a thousand dollars. Like, that's how ecstatic they were. Like, they got this water bottle that they probably wouldn't have gotten otherwise. Like, uh, there would have been not a huge opportunity for them to have gotten something to hold a contain uh, hold liquid uh, if we wouldn't have provided that for them. And uh, that that just made me realize how much we... Oh, double this right here. Um, how much we shouldn't be complaining about and we should really be grateful and uh about the stuff that we get and we're not showing that gratitude that we should be so that's what i kind of want to tell you guys i want to tell you guys to just accept the, the, the be happy with the little things okay uh even when there's something that you that really makes you mad that grinds your gears be happy about it because somewhere in the world somebody doesn't even have the opportunity to do that and i was also thinking about stuff like my school just my school alone somebody not even in another country not even talking about a third world country or something somebody that's in a, a neighboring city or even another part of my city might not get the opportunities that i have and i take those opportunities for granted like having organized sports like having um different clubs and after school activities like having dances and stuff like that like those are opportunities that certain students that may have special cases at home where they don't have enough money they like for me i'm most likely going to be going to university some some students some uh kids my age know from the bottom of their heart that they are not going to university and that that just really showed me and put it in perspective for me so i, I kind of want to talk to you guys about this and kind of because this has been really on my mind for the past few hours and it's all i could really think about so hopefully you guys kind of understand what I, what i'm thinking and kind of see what i mean so next time you guys want to complain about lag or how your mom won't buy you a new xbox live card or um how your mom like turned off the internet because you were on youtube too long think about almost got the final kill came here think about somebody in another country and what opportunities that they have gotten taken away from. so anyway i'm the doctor hopefully you guys enjoyed this commentary and hopefully you guys kind of learned something so enjoy the little things anyway i'm out peace